everyone. Today we'll be talking about what is a draw in chess. Basically, a draw is neither a win or a lose, it is a tie, where both players get half a point each for the chess game, especially if they're playing in a turn tournament. Half a point can come in very handy. So today I'll be discussing with you seven types of draw. There are seven kinds of draw in chess. And the first one's pretty simple. It's a king versus king. So you're left on the board with just a king and a king. And uh, you can just be moving them around perpetually and never come to a conclusion. Therefore, king versus a king is a draw. It was an exciting game that uh, Magnus Carlsen played against one of uh, his opponents in the Skillman Open. And I highly suggest you uh, find that uh, happening. And in the future videos, I'll be showing you what uh, that looks like, these different kinds of draws. Number two is there's not enough material to checkmate the opponent's king, so you are missing a piece or two pieces to be able to organize a checkmate. So there's no, uh, there's no way you can organize a checkmate, and therefore it is a draw, because you don't have enough material. A three is a very interesting type of uh, uh, draw. It's called a stalemate, and the king is not in check. Notice, it is not in check. He cannot make a legal move and has no other pieces to move. So when a king is not in check and he cannot make a move and he has no other pieces to move, it is called a stalemate. A lot of times, weaker players can try to go into a stalemate situation uh, or if you are a winning position and if you uh, make a blunder in the end game, you can end up in a draw. So stalemate is quite an important uh, type of draw that one needs to study very in-depthly. And I'll be putting more videos out, out on that uh, in the future. Number four is a 50 move rule. Basically, it's 50 moves without exchanging pieces or moving any pawns. So that's pretty simple enough. Usually beginning players would have this situation. Number five is uh, three times the repetition of the same position. So if you repeat a position three times in chess, you can claim a draw. Now, the interesting thing here is it does not need to be in a row. Uh, but but uh, if it's the same position and it's the third time that you have seen this same position, then you can claim a draw. Number six is the perpetual check. Uh, basically, you're checking the opponent, and that's all you can do is check, 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 and that would be considered a draw. And the seventh one is a draw by agreement. Both parties agree to a draw. That both uh, the sides are, uh, if both uh, sides agree to a draw, then it is a draw. Alrighty, so good luck with the, your chess, a uh, chess game, a uh, chess uh, playing. And I hope you really, really study uh, different kinds of draws. Go look at games, whether it's a half a half point, and see what kind of draw it was. Uh, and see if it was a statement, for example, how you, you could have avoided being in one. Thank you so much, and have a great morning, evening, afternoon. Au revoir.